finally made it to the area that we're going to stay tonight. Uh, the truck is there, obviously, with the rooftop tent. We're not going to set it up yet because we're going to go on a walk. Em and Jax are just over here. And we're going on one of our favourite walks. The sun is just about to set. Look at this. This is going to be so good. So it takes about 20 minutes this walk, not too far. And we want to get the sunset before we set the rooftop tent up. And I've got the drone with me, so hopefully I'm going to try and get some drone shots for you guys as well. But this is beautiful. It's so peaceful here. I've got to show you guys this view. The sun is just about to go. This is our view at the top of our little hill on our little walk. Look at that sunset in the west. That is incredible. That is what we came here for. Amazing sunsets and rooftop tent camping and Jax is king of the hill good boy let's get the drone up So it's 10 o'clock at night and we need to set the tent up. So I'm not really gonna do too much filming while setting it up, I'm just gonna leave it as a time lapse. We have set up the rooftop tent, it's now, it's now dark, although you can just about see light over the trees there. I don't know what the time is, I think it's about 10.30. We're gonna get the tent, we're not gonna do any filming now because we're quite tired, but we will film in the morning where we're gonna go on a bit more of an adventure, maybe go to the beach with Jax and uh, obviously pack the tent up and see where the next road takes us. It is now seven o'clock and it's very windy. Em's up in the tent at the moment with Jax. Um, we're not gonna hang around too long because it's so windy here. Probably gonna give Jax some breakfast, have some breakfast ourselves, and then head off to, a, to another area. But I think today's just about having a good day out, walking the dog, and just enjoying time together. But it's probably easily 20, 25 mile an hour, I'd say wind. But the tent's held up really well. Let me just show you. Super windy. But this is, so far, the, the rooftop tent. Wild Coast tents, this is the Sun Dog X. Loads of room in here. So many windows. I think last night we just opened the skylight, one of the skylights, so that we could see out. But loads of room. We've got a king size bed sheet here. And even that doesn't fit all the way to the end of this mattress properly. There's so much space in here. It's awesome. What we're going to do is get some breakfast, fold the tent up, and head onto a beach or something like that to take Jackson on a nice big walk. So, to me, I'm going to leave the bed sheet on here to fold it up. This is the mattress itself, it's memory foam. Really good quality mattress, actually. Fairly thick. I mean, you can't really see there, but. It's a thick old mattress. So before I fold the tent up, we need to put the bungee, the tensioning straps together so that it folds down, pulls everything in. So these just clip on each end to these O-rings, like that. And there's four of them. 
and that just helps pull everything in the tent in so that it all folds neatly so there's one up here I've just clipped these up there so it just goes across there you go that's those two also I was thinking this these straps could be used to hang and dry clothing on when you're not in the tent open up one of these let the air flow through and you could hang some clothing up here to dry it already thinking of ideas guys already thinking of ideas this is the fun part the wife's in the car with the dog it's 20 mile an hour winds and now i've got to fold the tent up she's got the life of riley in there driven about 20 minutes away we've had some breakfast and we're out in a lovely field lovely day again today the weather is fine but the wind is up and Jack's just tangled look oh dear he's tangled <laughs> this happens very regularly on our walks Jack gets tangled we've kept him on the lead because as you can see we would lose him completely in this field it's a fine day <laughs> he has found some sheep's wool. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Such a monkey. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Come on. I've <laughs> lost the plot. There. Put your tongue away. There. Ow. <laughs> there. There. So this is a typical church in England. Small kind of village church, parish church. Really, really old building. This is amazing. So to all my American fans and subscribers, there is an American connection with this church. I'm not going to read out. I think someone married into it, didn't they, Em? Yeah. I'm not going to read it all out, but maybe you guys can pause the screen and just have a read about the history of this church. We are now, what's it called, Tynum? We are now at a place called Tynum, which we've been to many times before. Jax is just, if you can see him, he's just there, tucked in the corner. <laughs> and we're gonna go walk to the sea. There's a little um, beach here, very small. It's kind of like a donation car park. But there's a lot of history to this village. They actually, the residents, did they get driven out by the, the army? They got asked to leave, I think. That was it. They got asked to leave by the army because this is in military ranges now. This is, um. MOD land uh, so it's all kind of they close these ranges a lot for shooting <laughs> shooting tests and things like that uh, so they drove them out was it in the war it was, I think it was around so. about one of the war one of the world world wars I can't remember which one but they yeah the, re the residents were asked to leave and now all the buildings are really derelict um, which is quite a sight to see actually but it's kind of sad for the the villagers that lived here because it's a lovely pretty village but we're gonna go donate some money in the car park and head towards the beach
Look at this for a view. We're having a good time. We've been here about two hours now. Plan is to head back to the truck. Um, we'll get, sorry, we're going to go to that village first, that little derelict village. And there, oh, there's a few spear fishermen out there actually. I can see. Noted in the, in the brain of where to go spear fishing. But we're going to go back to the truck, head to the village, have a look around there, and then probably head to a good old fashioned pub. Maybe get some food. We do have food with us as well, but it's such a nice day, it'd be nice to have a cold point in a pub. Welcome to TA Home. This is, I don't think I've ever really filmed in our lounge before. It's a bit more of a family vlog this one, isn't it? Yeah. Did you enjoy your camping? Yeah. What did you think of the rooftop tent? It was better than I expected. <laughs> we, were, we were slightly worried about lifting Jacks up, because it's quite high, isn't it? It was yeah. like, it was fairly high. So we were, <laughs> we were a bit sceptical, or you more and me, about getting him in there. Well, just in case, you do worry, don't you, that he'll... Yeah, well he fidgets Ball, a lot. Or, yeah. yeah, he fidgets and he and he kind of jumps around. He's rolling around on the floor at the moment. But <laughs> so Jax was two two years old, wasn't he? Yesterday. Yeah. We've had it. We got him at eight weeks, and he's off to chew his antler now. Eight weeks old, I think it was. And yeah, he's, we've had a whirlwind of a, of an adventure with Jax. This time we decided to do the rooftop tent stuff because you don't really see it here in the UK. It's not. You do see it, but it's not done very often. Most of the UK camping is public campsites that are very, generally very crowded in the peak season. You know, we wanted to do something a bit different, didn't we? So yeah. it's, it's, we're a bit behind on the times when it comes to you guys in the States and Canada with your, with your rooftop tent camping. But that, that tent is uh, called the Sundog X and it's by Wild Coast Tents. Peter and Trish, it's a family run business by Peter and Trish, they're based over in Nova Scotia in Canada. I reached out to loads of companies because I wanted to get into rooftop tent camping. So I, I reached out to loads of companies, absolutely no one got back to me except Peter and Trish at Wild Coast Tents. Um, and you know, we just got chatting back and forth just about the outdoors and, and, and general life. And they kindly actually gave me the tent to use in the videos, which was, which was super nice of them. Um, but I did. I had to pay the custom charges, so that was uh, that was fairly tasty customs fees getting that over here. But I got I got them to thank. Um, I really appreciate them, Peter and Josh. Thank you for for giving me that tent. I'm going to put it to good use, and then I'll probably run through it with you guys once I've used it really for a while. We've got big plans, haven't we, with the tent? Mm -hmm. We are going to Scotland. When are we going? End of August. End of August. We're going to Scotland. End of August for we don't know how long yet. Probably a week, I'd say. At least. 
we've I've taken more time off work. Em's taken some time off work, so we'll probably do a week, yeah. But we might do a bit in the Lake District as well, but it's mostly going to be Scotland. So that's going to be good fun, we're looking forward to that. And I will be using it on some other trips as well. I'd quite like to use it in the winter actually and try some winter camping in it. Oh, now he's decided to come up. So this is our, this is our, de our, our evening routine is this. Us <laughs> sat here, Netflix on the telly. And Jack's just up here with an antler. Usually he's in the middle of us he, though. Yeah, he, he hates us like cuddling. If we cuddle, he gets really jealous. <laughs> and, and he'll climb up here and poke his head between us <laughs> to try and divide us because he just hates it. I don't know why he does. He gets super jealous. He's a real attention seeker, isn't he? Is. He loves his antlers. We've gone through all sorts of bones and antlers seem to be the best ones, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. I, why don't, what do you guys think out there with your dogs? Do you, we, we don't do rawhide at all. No, we've, we've had bad experiences We've had with really that. bad experiences with rawhide, with Jacks. Um, we've done a few cow bones. They're just a bit big for him because he's only a small dog. Cow bones quite big. And the horns, the cow horns. Yeah, cow horns. Uh, we want to do a shout out as well to <laughs> our nieces and nephews, Max, Hannah, Stanley, and my sister-in-law, M sister, Beth. Big shout out to you guys, thank you for watching the, the videos. Yeah, they watch every week. They watch every week, they tune in and watch the videos, so big thank you to that. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Now you've got to get it. It spins around, doesn't it? There you go, you've got to get it out. I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> Jax. <laughs> Don't be naughty. Don't you growl at me.